right now about how this 40-year-old mother died. Miriam St. Germain, who's lived in Massachusetts for 25 years, was gunned down in Haiti. Tonight, her family and friends are in mourning. New Center 5's Pam Cross reports they want answers, claiming she and other Americans are targeted when they return to their native Haiti. She was heading home from the airport. And somebody should have. Miriam St. Germain was killed a week ago in Haiti. Her friends still can't believe it. She was a longtime volunteer at Mattapan's Technology Center. Every time there is something about Haiti, Miriam is the first one to say, I'm on it. And she will, she's very dedicated. She loves her country. It happened July 25th outside Haiti's main airport. She was headed to her hometown of Les Cailles and was robbed by gunmen. Two miles from the airport, that's uh, where she got robbed and then she got gun, gun down. Activists say it's not the first time in the last eight weeks. Six people from the United States already left their life in Haiti due to this violence. Six. Wounded, it took an hour to get St. Germain to one hospital and then. When she got there, they said they don't have equipment to pull the bullet from her body. They have to go to another hospital. And um, this is where she died. Her mother and 11 and 7 year old sons were her life. The four of them have been bonded together. They went to the trip together, they went to Disney World together. Everywhere they're going, they went together. But this time she chose to go alone. Because it's like we lost a sister. That's why she was for the Haitian community, a mother, a sister for everyone. This time last year, the State Department issued a travel warning urging caution when going to Haiti. Now some in the Boston community are beginning to take that warning to heart. In Mattapan, I'm Pam Cross, WCBB News Center 5.